In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Today we celebrate the feast of our Mother of Good Counsel. Let us place ourselves before the Lord as we ask his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came as one of us. Lord, have mercy. You call, came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You offer us eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord, who know the fearful and uncertain, how fearful and uncertain are the thoughts of mortals. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, from whom your Son took his humanity, grant us your gift of counsel to show us what is pleasing to you and to guide us in all that we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus was taken up into heaven, they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, the Sabbath day's journey away. And when they had entered, they went up to the upper room where they were staying, Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus and Simon the Zealot, and Judas the son of James. All these with one accord devoted themselves to prayer, together with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, with his brethren. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly a sound came from heaven like the rush of a mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues as of fire, distributed and resting on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Word of the Lord. Blessed is the man who meditates on wisdom. Blessed is the man who meditates on wisdom. Blessed is the man who meditates on wisdom and who reasons intelligently. Blessed is the man who meditates on wisdom. He who reflects in his mind on her ways will also ponder her secrets, pursue wisdom like a hunter, and lie in wait on her paths. Blessed is the man who meditates on wisdom. He who peers through her windows will also listen at her doors. He who encamps near her house will also fasten his tent, leg, tent peg on her walls. He will pitch his tent near her and will lodge in an extent, an excellent lodging place. Blessed is the man who meditates on wisdom. He will place his children under her shelter and will camp under her boughs. He will be sheltered by her from the heat and will dwell in the midst of her glory. Blessed is the man who meditates on wisdom. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to John, at that time, there was a marriage at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited to the marriage 
with his disciples. When the wine failed, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, a woman, what have you to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Now six stone jars were standing there for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to them, fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, now draw some out and take it to the steward of the feast. So they took it. When the steward of the feast tasted the water, now become wine. He did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. The steward of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, Every man serves the good wine first, and when men have drunk freely, then the poor wine. But you kept the good wine until now. This, the first of his signs, Jesus did at Cana in Galilee, and manifested his glory, and the disciples believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the first reading today, we hear, the, hear about the day of Pentecost, when the, Jew, when the apostles returned to Jerusalem and when the Holy Spirit came upon them like a wind. It's from that Spirit's bounty that comes all of our wisdom and intelligence. And the grace of the Holy Spirit is with us always just as the Lord's presence is. We don't always understand it. We don't always see clearly what the Lord, what the Holy Spirit is trying to guide us to. And we need someone to help us interpret it. Our Mother of Good Counsel is a feast of the order that is, a, is all about the idea of meditating on wisdom. In her deepest heart, she felt the presence of the Lord. And all around her, and when he was a child, Jesus is the presence of the Lord always with her. So she has been steeped in the presence of God all the way from her birth until this time. She knows what Jesus is going to do in some way. At least she knows that he will do something. So when she approaches him, it's not really a surprise that at once she would notice such a thing as the shortage of wine, she would mention it to him. Now maybe she doesn't know exactly how he'll respond, she does know he will respond. And maybe the surprise is how he comes, he comes to do the miracle. The Holy Spirit is with us, and we are guided by the Spirit whether we know it or not. And so it's through the Holy Spirit that Mary knows something about what Jesus will do. She also is with him on the road to Galilee, in the breaking of the bread. She's present in some way. At his crucifixion, she's with him at the foot of the cross. So she who has spent so much time in God's wind wisdom has plenty to tell us. It's through her intercession that we ask God to enlighten us, to make us more holy and closer to him to remain with us always in the Holy Spirit. And it's with her protection and guidance that we come to understand what God asks of us. Maybe she doesn't know exactly how we will respond, but she knows that we will respond. So it's in that sense we come before her asking her guidance, asking for her help, asking for her son's help that we may be led 
to what is God's will in all things and accept what God offers us as his will for us. our prayers before the Lord who always is with us knows we need his help and always listens to our prayers let us remember Lord is Aranyo and Aranyo and, and, and I do I mean and Paro Melendez in this mass let us pray to the Lord for all of our loved ones, that they will be able to be guided by the presence of the Holy Spirit through the intercession of Mary, the mother of good counsel. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who serve the sick, especially those with the coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. For all those who are ill, especially those with the virus, but also with any other kind of illness. And we pray too for those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. For what else should we pray? Loving God, hear these prayers. Those we hold in our hearts, those we cannot even put into words, and grant us what is your will for us through the guidance of your Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands to become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this, your sacrifice and mine, may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, let the spirit of counsel, who so wonderfully overshadowed the Blessed Virgin Mary, Make the gifts we present in worship acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you abundantly filled the Blessed Virgin Mary with the gifts of the Holy Spirit, that she might be the worthy mother and the companion of the Redeemer. Enriched with your gifts full and full of grace, she always sought to know your will and faithfully fulfilled it. She magnified your mercy in her song of praise and wholeheartedly embraced your loving design to restore all things in Christ. Through him the hosts of angels adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. We pray you bid our voices join with theirs and in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and you entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, 
informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, <clears throat> have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. Lord, in this celebration, in memory of Holy Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, we have become then in your, in your partakers in your mysteries. Grant us to learn what pleases you and to gain salvation from your Son. For through the Blessed Virgin Mary, you gave him to us as our admirable counselor, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> the peace of the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.